So, Tom, you wanted to talk to me. Tell me, what is your problem? Good morning, boss. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about some things. I'm sorry to bother you. You don't have to be sorry. We are here to help you. Remember, we are like a family here. I'm happy to know that I have had some problems lately. Well, boss, I want to discuss my work schedule. About your work schedule? Sure, what is the problem with that? Tell me. My work hours are supposed to be from Monday to Friday, from 7 to 5. Yes, I remember. We talked about that when I hired you. That's correct. Exactly. Well, I've been staying longer than I should. That's the problem. I'm supposed to be able to leave at 5, but I am staying until 7 or 8 in the evening. Really? And why is that? Why do you stay here until that time, Tom? My supervisor told us to stay to finish the reports, and we have to do them every day. Oh, but that's normal. Everyone has to make their reports, and you know that very well. In fact, I remember we talked about that when we had our first meeting before you got hired. Yeah, I knew we had to make these reports, but I assumed we were going to do them during work hours. I mean, if I finish my work at 5, then the report has to be done before I leave, right? Well, it all depends on you. I mean, if you finish your work earlier, then you can make your report earlier too. But it doesn't work like that. I finish calling the customers at 5, and then I make the report. I can't make it earlier because my supervisor doesn't allow me to do that. Do you get it? But, Tom, we have to stick to our schedules. You know that. You can't leave earlier. No, no. I don't want to leave earlier. I just want to leave on time, and that's all. Well, but I remember I told you that you would probably have to stay a little more because of the reports and also because sometimes there are some things to do. I know you finish work at 5, but you can't just leave. You have to leave everything in order. Staying a few extra minutes is normal in any company. I thought you knew that. But it's not minutes, it's hours. Two or sometimes three hours. I think that's too much. Well, you have to be committed to the goals of the company. We're like a family here, and you're not the only one who stays here late. Everyone knows we have to work hard, Tom. I know I'm not the only worker who stays late here, but that's not why it's going to be fair. At first, I thought that those extra hours worked were going to be paid, but I was wrong. And that's another thing. Last week I got my check. Why are you deducting $200 from my salary? My salary is $800, but I just received $600. Let me see on the computer. Tom Sawyer, okay, I have it. Let me explain it to you. You work in the sales area, right? What devices do you use? What devices do I use? Well, a telephone, a computer, headphones, and an iPad. Well, there is your answer. We deduct a monthly amount for the devices you use daily. That's why you receive $200 less because of the computer, telephone, headphones. What do I have to pay for that? You didn't tell me that when we talked. That's not fair. Oh, maybe I forgot to tell you that, but it's on your contract, the contract you signed, remember? I haven't read that contract yet. I will do it today. 
I didn't know that. It's very important to read your contract before you sign it. You should know that, Tom. Yeah, well, at least those devices will be mine when I finish paying for them. What are you talking about? Those devices you use are from the company. Yeah, for now, but then they will be mine, right? Because I'm paying for them. No, that's not right. We're only renting you the devices. They are not yours. That is also in the contract. You should have read that, Tom. But you're not entirely wrong. You can keep the headphones. Those are for you. Congratulations. Seriously? Oh my god. And what about the benefits you told me about when we had the interview? You told me we were going to have extra benefits from the company, coupons, insurance prices, and many other types of benefits. I haven't gotten any. Haven't you received any extra benefits? Oh, that's not correct. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry, I'm going to talk to your manager today. So he can give them to you. Thank you. And what are they? Extra money. How much is that? Money? No, it's a $5 coupon we always give to our workers. You can spend it in the company cafeteria, but you will get it at the end of this month, so you will be able to use it the next month, I think. But don't worry, you'll receive it for sure. What? No, I don't like that. I'm sorry, but I think I will have to quit this job. The payment is not enough, and I'm working overtime. I can't keep on. I'm sorry, boss. I really appreciate this opportunity, but I will have to look for a better option. But, Tom, you can't quit like that. We are a family. You are part of this amazing family, and if you work hard, one day you could meet our general manager, the owner of this company. Aren't you excited about that? He's a great man, and you could learn a lot from him. Don't give up, Tom. Keep working hard, and one day you will see the results, believe me. Maybe, but no. I'm sorry. I have to quit. I'm really sorry. Well, I understand. Then you will have to pay a penalty of $3,000. What? What are you talking about? Do I have to pay if I want to quit? Yeah, that's in your contract. It is a penalty for damages. I'm sorry you're leaving. Anyway, goodbye, Tom. I'll see you never. Next, please. I hope viewers like this conversation. If they could improve their English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if they want to support this channel, they can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care. In this section, we'll delve into some English vocabulary and expressions related to the story we've just covered to enhance your language skills. Bother. To inconvenience or disturb someone. Example, I'm sorry to bother you, but I need to discuss an issue. Apologize, to express regret or say sorry. Example, I apologize for any confusion caused by the miscommunication. Commitment, dedication and loyalty to a job or goal. Example, her commitment to the company's mission is admirable. Work hard, to put in a lot of effort and diligence.
Example, success often comes to those who work hard and persevere. Work ethic, a set of moral principles related to work and diligence. Example, a strong work ethic is essential for career advancement. Renting, paying for the temporary use of something owned by someone else. Example, renting office space can be cost effective for small businesses. Deduct. To subtract or take away, usually from a salary or payment. Example, they deducted the cost of the uniform from my paycheck. Contract. A formal agreement between an employer and an employee. Example, make sure to read the contract before signing it. Work hours. The hours during which an employee is expected to be working. Example, my work hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Overtime, time worked beyond regular working hours. Example, I had to do overtime to complete the project on time. Give up, to surrender or stop trying. Example, I won't give up on my career goals despite the challenges. Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.